Hello everyone. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily add a nice looking recent posts area onto your blog, identical to what you're looking at right here. First things first, log into your WordPress dashboard and then go to Appearance and Widgets. By default, WordPress comes pre-installed with a recent posts widget and you'll see that in your widget area here and you can drag and drop that if it isn't already in there. So you can drag and drop that into your sidebar. You can give that a title or you can leave it as default which is recent posts and you can choose how many of your recent posts to show and also potentially a post date and then save. And you may have already done this previously if you watched my previous tutorials and if you have you'll know that this is what it looks like and this is the standard WordPress recent post widget. However if you want to step it up a notch and have a section like I showed you a second ago which has a nice thumbnail in it and also one that gives you a bit more flexibility I'll show you how you can do that. So into your dashboard go to plugins and add new now search for a plugin called recent posts widget extended that's the one there install and then activate that plugin okay once you do that now go back into your appearance and widget section You'll notice now there is a new widget available and that's the recent posts extended. So all you need to do is drag and drop that into your sidebar. And here you'll see that there are numerous options available to you to customize this area of your blog. This whole left hand side here I tend to leave as default. Okay, You can ignore sticky posts. If you don't know, sticky posts are those where you can force to appear on the top of your blog you can select post types that you want to appear in the recent posts area so posts, pages or media it's up to you you can select which posts you want to appear so do you only want published posts to appear or ones that are also in uh, draft or print or pending or private etc etc that's up to you you can order by default you can order by ascending or descending you can also order by date if you want to and then you can also limit posts to show based on certain categories and these are categories which you would have already defined as part of your blog and if you want to uh, delimit that so if you don't if you do not want to limit to any categories just leave it all unchecked you can choose how many posts to show um, don't worry about offset you can choose whether to display the thumbnail or not and that's really important I'll show you quickly how you can add your thumbnail so if I just open a post that is already on my website it's this section here the featured image you need to add an image into the featured image of your post and that's the image that will be used as the featured thumbnail you can choose the size you can also choose to display an excerpt which is a summary or not um, for now I'll leave that all as default and I will save and I'll show you what that looks like of course you can always rearrange that depending on where you want that to appear in your sidebar okay let's have a look at our blog and see what that looks like there we go we've got that lovely looking recent posts area and you can see they're all posts except this one contact me which is a page which has appeared because I decided to include pages in post type so if I remove pages and just have posts and then save that that contact me page should disappear when I refresh the site and yep it has there we go okay so the other options we have are to display a summary and you can have a summary length that's in words so 20 words you can display a read more link and 
that's completely up to you. I think the summary looks a little bit messy and so as a personal preference I choose not to display the, uh, the summary or the read more. So there you go, so that's the difference between a standard recent post section which comes pre-installed with WordPress and this extended plugin. So feel free to install that, play around with it, set it to however you want it to uh, appear, choose the different variables that you want. It's completely customizable as you can see from this screen here and you'll have a lovely looking recent post section on your blog where users can come on uh, onto your blog and then click on any one of your uh, other articles and easily be able to read multiple articles and stay on your blog for longer. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll be putting out more awesome videos in the future and give this one a thumbs up. Catch you next time.